Hello everyone, welcome back to Reinhardt's Quest. Uh, um, last time we did a whole bunch of side quests, I think we're done with them. I mean, this message here, it says this option will skip to the main quest. But is there another way to get to the main quest without uh, supposedly skipping? I don't know, man. Maybe there is, I haven't found it, so let's go. It's about all we can do, really. Uh, I think we will, Diana. The game has been fun so far. I, I don't think it's going to be any different this time. Oh, look, in this in this black background, we can very clearly observe the texture of the back of the windows. <laughs> what a story, Diana. I'm sure it I'm sure this is a great story. Yeah, I mean, it's just that with these things, like usually you don't really think about the body fluid exchange or whatever. But when you're sharing a spoon or like if you spit somewhere or whatever, like then it makes people very conscious that that exchange is happening. So that's probably what was happening. Oh man, making Josh feel awkward. Yeah, tell us again what we're doing here since uh, the game scene just kind of cut to this point and the player doesn't know yet. Oh, nice. Because it's cool, dude. Fucking, why do you ask these questions, Zach? Dude, because it's fucking cool, because you're the main characters. Yeah, just trust him, dude. Josh is cool. He helped you out earlier. He has a nice staff. He deals blunt damage. Do you deal blunt damage, Diana? I don't think so, unless you use Bear Bash. Well, I mean, those kinds of skills can always come in useful. Okay. Open up a new entrance to what? Nice. We won't have to do fetch quests to get the ingredients on a main plot thing. I, I respect that. I respect that. It's not easy to make bombs, man. I, I, I use my herb knowledge for peace, dude. Not for war. You're asking me to make bombs? Of course, man. Okay, here we go. There's a little item transfer sound effect. Oh, cool. Maybe we will only have to use one and we'll get five in our stock to deal with whatever. I, I don't know. She just kind of tagged along. Oh, she's, she's one of those people, huh? She's an arsonist. <sighs> For some reason, I, I now when he said Josh, I pictured Josh Beck, you know, from Drake and Josh. And he kind of looks like that nowadays, doesn't he? Well, I mean, sort of. Yeah, dungeon, right? This is, this, it's a, this, is, this is a dungeon. Oh, yeah. There's something fucked up with these trees over here, like this one and and this one. It don't look too right, but that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. 
Anyway, we're in a dungeon again, I guess. Is, does this count as a dungeon? I think it does, right? Why wouldn't it? Um, okay, there's a vine here. The vines are a bit difficult to see. But hey, we got some crafting items from the wild. That's nice. There's a hut over there. No beds in there this time, so... If we can get in, there's not going to be a place for us to rest. But let's do it. I mean, I'm curious to see what's over there. Is there anything up here? No, it doesn't look like it. No secrets or anything. Oh, let's climb these stairs. And no enemies so far. Kind of surprised, honestly. Of course you could enter it. I mean, it's like... It's like so highlighted, you know? Also, did you like... How did you do this? Yeah, you put the star thing on it. Is it, is this like a custom... Well, yeah, is this like a custom tile? You just uh, put in the tile set and set the things to star. Like, it's one of the fixed tiles in the second layer, I think. Also, is there's nothing here, really? Not even beds for us to rest at? Is that is that the same hut from... It's not the same hut from before, right? There's a note over there, maybe... Can we see them? Can we look at the map? Nope. I mean, he did draw a map, right? The author did draw a map for the for the kingdom, so maybe he could have showed it. And you can't read the note either, so okay. Not much use coming here, I guess. I wonder if the well, there's a bookshelf here. No, I wonder if there were any actual items here. They would be highlighted. I don't know. Maybe they would. Maybe they wouldn't. Maybe I missed something. Kind of seems like a weird uh, side venture to go on here. Maybe there's a side quest here later. Maybe there's something I could have triggered here and I didn't. The game is starting to get really expansive with its alternate stuff now, so it's anyone's guess, really. Um. But hey, here we go. Can we go down here? Nope. I didn't think we could, but, you know, I just wanted to check. Oh, enemies. It's a wolf. Is that a wolf? I think it is. Alright. Another rope there for us to climb. Let's see if there's anything over there. Doesn't look like it. Just a short little rope. Seems reasonable. No no way to come up here. Didn't think, didn't think there was. No, nor, nor up here. No secrets either. I was looking for secrets, dude. I remember the first dungeon, the Rhinus test, had a whole bunch of chests in it. And I, you know, I'm just kind of expecting the other dungeons to have a whole bunch of chests in them as well. Oh, what's this anyway? I mean, you, I guess you can go in from the side. I do that in my game all the time. Nobody figures out that you can enter houses from directions that's not south. Let's go in, see what's up. There's a bed over there. And it's... It's not a piece of shit, dude. Wait. Hmm. Can't... Okay. Oh, is it this one? No? Can't sleep on it for some reason. Well. Is my button not working? Oh, it's working. Not sure what's going on, but okay. Whatever. Can't read the notes. Chest over here. Adrenaline potion. Nice. Maybe we'll use that for bosses. I haven't been very diligent in, like, using everything in my power. Let's go back because I think there's some stuff that we missed. I haven't been very diligent in using everything in my power to win fights. Like, looking at strategic use of other items that aren't just straight-up health potions and whatnot. Okay, there's nothing over here. Oh, well, there's a tent over there and a flower, but nothing in the sense that we have we need to take an alternate route to get there so well, let's do it and we don't i mean we don't need to heal but and it's strange that there's a bad icon there and i just can't rest up in it it's driving me insane i don't know, whatever it is what it is um pick the herb over here I, I really need to craft some more stuff eventually. I think bears are s strong against pierce damage, dude, and weak against blunt, from what it seems. Let's compare Diana's attack power and Josh's. I mean, he does have a lot more, but he has even more 
more when fighting against bears. So I think they're weak to either weak to uh, blunt damage or strong against Pierce. Oh, that's nice. Because I mean, I think even Zack is dealing more damage than her against bears. She deals like 30 damage per hit, and Zack deals 50. And Josh deals like 110. It's insane. Like, fucking more than three times Diana's damage. So, I think it's a good thing I bought Bear Bash, because I think at least I can do some damage with Diana against bears when she's, like, when she has enough AP for it. So how do we do it? We just blow it up. Are you going to give me, you're going to give me the chance to get these flowers, right? Uh. Okay, they're trying to bullshit Zack. I mean, I got your fucking Umberto back, you piece of shit. Oh, okay. Um, he's not gonna kill him, okay. Wouldn't it be nice if there was like a really good item you could make with the pig shit thing that he gave you? Uh, if you use pig shit, you can make ultimate healing potion that heals everything from everyone at all times and can be used indefinitely. All right. Uh, uh, is Diana going to figure out that it's big shit? Oh, the, the, the rope graphics is being used as a fuse. Nice, I like it, I like it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> RPG Maker 2000 track again. It's the return of the RPG Maker 2000 tracks. I've been missing you guys ever since Reinhardt's test. Or maybe I just didn't notice you afterwards. Damn. Did she die? Is she dead? Oh, it's time for one of those. Okay. Is that young Zack? Oh my god, it is. He looks so cool in this one. Why can't we play as him while, when he's that young, dude? Look at him over there. He's awesome. Yeah, Zack doesn't like being a Rhinet. That's not gonna help him in life, considering he's a Rhinet. Oh man, you're gonna you're gonna start talking about human nature now. I mean, I don't know how I don't know how things works in how things work in this world. Guess it depends on environment, but maybe it depends on the fucking shadow plane in this game. I don't know. No, he is. We, we are discussing how the environment affects a person's disposition here.
I mean, I think it would. As long as they don't think they're spying on them. I don't know. Three thousand seventy-six people live live in Yarden. Hmm. Three thousand seventy-six people live in Yarden. Okay. I thought it was more like twenty-five, but sure. Young Zack looks like Kenneth from Suikoden 4. That's the character I'm thinking of. No, now that I think about it, maybe I should have chosen the Mind Warp point for Zack, but the base one is just so good with the HP regeneration that I, you know, I thought it fit him at the time. Dog custom? I don't remember that. Oh, he definitely looks like Kenneth now. Oh, okay, that's why the hut's here. We f we figured it out, dudes. Now, are we not going to be able to use Diana in the party in this part of the game? Oh, so she's gonna be alone there with Buck? Hmm. That ain't gonna go well. I mean, maybe it'll go well for them. Galax Poultry. So, uh, the game is gonna make me go on a fetch quest after all. Yo, oh, okay, Buck can look for... Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Just immediately get the option aborted. It can heal wrong. Okay. Okay, Zach on his own? Damn. It's time for Zach alone time. Oh, yeah. Just Zack by himself and Lorana.
I will. Me too, Zach. Me too. Just fucking say it. What well, what will it change now? I mean, Zach is already pissed. Diana's probably gonna be pissed anyway, regardless of what you say. Just fucking say it. At least people will know. Involved. Why hell has this involved? Trumpet. It's nice. I mean, what... What... What can you say, Lorana? Pour your heart into some for this guy. Zach, dude. He didn't know big shit was explosive. She better not say it was big shit, man. That'll get Zack real pissed. And Zack just kills everyone. Zack kills everyone ending. He goes back to the Rhin He goes back and figures out a way to go back in time, back to the Reinitz test, and kills everyone in the Reinitz test. Lorana wasn't even there, you know. He just does it, because fuck it. Yeah, I, I'm j I, I just wanted to dehumanize women from the town, you know? Not someone I know. I have T get the story straight from him. Uh, what does Zack have to do again? I don't remember. Okay, we have to talk to Raylo. And we get a hundred experience for that. Finally, some actual good experience rewards. I'm, I'm glad for that. I mean, will that level us up, though? I'm... Uh, next level 445. Nope, it won't, but I mean, you know, it's been a while since we've been on level 4. Well, Diana's been on level 4 at least. Zach was on level 3. Okay, I, I should go back, right? That's that's where I need to go. Back. Backwards. But I think backwards is actually this way. Shit, I'm lost. No, I'm not. That was, that was a ruse. I always know where I'm going. Oh, Raylo's right over here, dude. He just fucking showed up. Convenient. Oh, Josh sent a message to him. Okay. Oh, Raylo in the party? Mm. Thought we were gonna see Raylo's prowess finally in combat. And he's like the super awesome mage. Or warp user at least. He has the mind warp point and he can do all sorts of advanced tricks with it and he's like level 20. That would be cool. Okay, what are we going to walk into over here? Hmm. It looks better. As if he'd know. You thought it wasn't the right place, you fuck.
call me? I mean, I'm gonna be real nervous about it, but... If you break anything else, just try to get me calmed down, you know? Why is Buck wearing the demon hat, by the way? I mean, I know it took me a while to say anything about it, but I noticed it. What, can't Diana read it for him or something? Yeah, like that. Okay, let's meet up with Josh. Alright. Let's save first. Oh. Go through here. Meet up with Josh. Lots of stuff happened in this small little place. I like that the game does that. This game is, is all about lots of stuff happening in kind of like a, a confined space. Yeah, I'm up for that. I'm up for that. I like that kind of flow. Not, not something you see a lot. But I think I said before that you usually see these things in like games that are being released episodically. You know, for obvious reasons. Like, even if it's not an episodic game, if it's being released episodically in the sense that new content comes out every certain interval of time, that's usually how the game presents itself. The Way is like that, as I said before, and I'll say it again, fuck, The Way is awesome, dude, you should play it. We're, I don't know who you are watching this video, one of the five or six people that watch the video to the end, but go play The Way, it's awesome. Okay, there's Josh. Yeah, maybe maybe we should go get these. Why is cement calcium blue and Galax Poultry not? Is cement calcium an actual ingredient that you can use to make items in this game and Galax Poultry not? Maybe Galax Poultry is an actual finished item that you can use, maybe. No, it is not wise, but we need an excuse to let Diane and Buck be on their own. And you know the reason why. Let's, t let's get the f these flowers. Spellburner, that's what it is. So there's just these flowers just hanging around here. Damn. I think this will be a way for us to get back here once we leave the cave, but this that hole over there is a bit small. But that's okay. Uh, let's save. I, I mean, I know we just saved. Oh, is every time I click on save, the camera's gonna go like, whoa! Okay. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 It's an old temple. You can tell by the, by the very old style music. Okay. Oh, what the hell? It's a ghost. Rhinus will. Okay. Oh, okay. Fuck, they're weak against magic. How much of a fucking asshole dumb shit can I be, dude? I see a ghost and I try to attack him physically. Oh, it's him again? Okay. I mean, I don't, don't really know what else to do. Uh, I think Blow also deals magic damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Man, I think we should be... We should be at the point where we're learning some new spells, right? There we go. Probably gonna kill him. There we go. Oh, some ectoplasm, we needed that. And salt as well, I think we also needed salt. To make 
some of I think to make the dagger did, did we need to make the or the rod I think it was the rod with the little heart in it oh this is dimension right from RPG Maker 2000 but it's like remix it's not exactly the same dimension I think dimension is actually my favorite track from the RPG Maker 2000 soundtrack it's, it's really good, as you can see from here, like, right? I mean, even this remix is pretty good. Yeah, in the, the original goes like... Instead of going like... But otherwise, you know, I think it's the same... I think it's the same track. What was I trying to do? Go skills. See if there's anything you can... Oh, you can learn Bear Bash. Hmm... Mm. I mean, this one is real good. This one is all amazing. This one is amazing, dude. This, this one. Um, mm. Do I want Bear Bash for Zack? I think I will actually build up 2,000 and get this one first. Then afterwards, I can get Bear Bash for him. Because it's not very useful, especially right now. No, oh, it's a Cianetto Stone. Fuck. Don't you know? You're fucking bookworm, you should know. If they don't shine outside total darkness, wouldn't they just keep in a constant cycle of shining and not shining since when they shine they create light and thus are not in total darkness anymore? Okay, but we but we have like a we emit light even without the torch. Oh fuck. Oh he's fast. Oh there's a chest right here. How didn't I notice that? Has some oil. Probably crafting item health potion, nice. Another will there, but I don't wanna fight him. Is he gonna come after me? Another Cianetto stone there. Okay, we're gonna have to fight this one. Okay, let's get the chest. Silver chalice, nice. Money. Always welcome. Let's uh Heal up quickly here. And you know, also use some cleansing with Josh. Here we go. I mean, it's not like we need MP, you know, to fight the the spirits or anything. How much how much FP do, do you have? Ah, man, you barely get anything from the spirits. Well, that's fine. Once we get to 2000, we're going to learn that. I don't need to use Bear Bash in this dungeon, so... I'm not that worried. Also, pretty cool. I like the design in this dungeon. It's has a lot of layers, has a lot of verticality, elevation. It's nice. Do I want to fight the ghost? I don't. All right. I also like how I think that this the, the way that rocks are blocking your path, I mean, it might not have been designed like that, but it kind of seems like it's trying to be designed in a way that would be accessible for people as a real location. But it just so happens that there's a lot of chasms and obstacles in the way, which turns in, into a dungeon where you have to, like, go here and there in a specific order. And I've always liked that. 20, dude. You get 20 FP from... Also, Steel Dagger, already have one of those, buddy. Or do I? I do. I just have a copy of it. I can sell it, I guess. It's no biggie, but still. Shame. Okay. Maybe we should be saving. There's a boss here. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a boss here. And it's you. Damn, this guy's fucking strong. Okay, nice.
Okay. The the less people know about it, the better. All right. Man, Josh just dominating the demon. I didn't think the exchange would go quite like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we can't go there? Uh, I kind of wanted to see what was over there, dude. kind of wanted to see if there's some chests over there. Well... Maybe next time. Okay, so Jankin was searching for this demon. Alright. Is Alora this demon's daughter or creation or spawn or something like that? We say spawn when it's demons, right? We don't say daughter. We say spawn. Josh is gonna die. He's fucking dead. Demon's gonna l get loose somehow. He's gonna fuck Josh right up. Maybe literally. If someone asked for it in his Patreon. Why is there a shiny thing there? Milk, vodka, health potion, star leaf, and champion herbs. Should I write this down? Ouch. Okay, am I am I gonna play as Buck? Okay, I, we are playing as Buck. He's super weak. He doesn't have any MP or anything. Let me read the bio. Level 1. Okay. He sucks, dude. But he does have a lot of agility. No innate resistances also. Just... It just fucking sucks, dude. It fucking sucks as shit. Can I... Can I see what the ingredients are? Man, I should write this down. Or, maybe I could just stop this episode right now and... Consult the video on the next episode to know what I need. Look at Buck's running animation there. Does he walk like... No, he doesn't. He walks normally, but then when he runs like... Whee! Okay. Well, I think this is enough. Oh. Oh, so we need to craft the things here. This is the crafting thing. All right. So, oh, it, it tells you the items you need right here, dude. Some milk, vodka. Those, I think, is star leaf that we, we need. Oh, no, it's champion herbs. And over here, we just need one of the things. I'll just ask Diana again. It's fine. Yeah, okay, this is it for this episode of of Reinhardt's quest, look at Buck's ugly mug there. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're leaving file 12 like that. That's awesome. Never touching it again.